Hi guys, it's Leanne from Woodhead & Co. Um, in today's video, I wanna be helping you buyers out when you're looking for your next home. Um, on the first point that I wanna cover is uh, electrics. Um, this can be a thing that most people do actually forget about because the light switches work and you know other switches work in the property. However, that doesn't mean it's safe or it wouldn't break down in the future as such. When it comes to a rewire, that's quite a, a large outlay um, and you don't really wanna be doing that as soon as you purchase a property. Um, so some of the things to look out for, uh, have, a, have a good Google, but consumer units, um, you'll be able to tell a rough age on how old the consumer unit is. Um, you should be asking the estate agent or the vendor if they have an electrical installation report in place um, and how often, uh, how often has that been checked or when was the last time it was checked. Um, if it's within five years, um, you usually would be okay. Anything older than that, I would say that it would probably need looking into. So it may be worth asking the vendor at the point of an offer whether they would do an electrical installation report for you. That would give you a good idea on how well the property works in respect to the electrics. Um, another thing that people tend to miss is damp and mould. Um, with the upgrade of UPVC windows and doors, um, properties actually aren't designed to breathe all that well. Um, and people do clutter properties, in which case they may have a mold problem, especially behind furniture. That's nothing to be alarmed of too much because with good ventilation and good cleaning, um, it will soon disappear. However, if it's part way up the, the wall or if it's on the lower, on the ground floor level, and it's halfway up the wall, that may be considered as rising damp. Um, so it's definitely worth getting a damp specialist to have a look at that at the point of your um, survey. That would be, I would strongly recommend doing that. Um, another thing to bear in mind is the cost of the boiler. Um, boilers usually work between 10 to 15 years. Um, at that point, they either need serious repair or it's worth replacing. So it's a, it's a good idea to consider how old the boiler is. Has it been serviced every year? Is there a gas safety in place um, for any gas appliances within the property? And that's definitely something else I would ask, um, ask to see at the point of purchasing. Um, the next thing I would advise looking at as well, um, or even actually not even looking at, is someone coming with you. Um, a builder, uh, a family friend, cousin, what have you. It's always better to get a second pair of eyes uh, on the property that it's, it's a third party almost. So you might walk into a property and absolutely love it because it's perfect but your um, the third party may come round and spot loads of things that you're not spotting because the property is perfect for you. That should be into consideration when putting forward your offer because if there are a few maintenance bits to do, um, that will cost you a, a lot more money in the long run. So it's always worth considering at the point of viewing the property rather than buying it and then having to have a large outlay. The next point I want to raise to you guys is have a look at the plumbing. Um, you know, and the kitchen sink, always have a look under that into the cupboard. Um, do ask permission before you do so, but you may see that the cupboard is affected by mold um, or that you can see there's a physical leak there. That would make you question what else has been done incorrectly and in the property and hasn't been fixed prior. Um, the next thing to mention as well, which sort of to do with plumbing, but can also be other, other things like such as the roof, is can you see any water ingress around the property? If there's any small spots on the ceilings um, or down the side of the back of the walls, that sort of thing is what you really need to be paying attention to. Um, that doesn't always come up in the survey. It can do, but not always. Um, therefore, not having a big expense later on. The last point I want to mention is windows and doors. Um, it's really good to pay attention to these. Are they wooden? Are they UPVC? If they are UPVC, how long ago were they installed and have they got any insurance certificates along with that? Um, you know, windows and doors are very uh, quite costly when purchasing in the first place and also repairs can also be just as costly. So it may be worth opening all the windows and making sure the hinges are still intact and also the handles. Um, if you want any other top tips, please feel free to give the branch a call at Woodhead & Co and I'll be happy to help. 